here with Brown Cow Creatives and today I'm going to show you how to add text to my Easter tag cut files. So the first thing I want to do is grab my design. I'm going to be adding text to this bunny egg right here, the one with the bow and the little ear. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and upload this. Let's add to canvas. And I'm going to shrink this up. This is pretty large. So I'm going to make this about four and a half inches tall. And then I'm going to come over to ungroup and I'm going to ungroup both of these. All right. So now I'm going to select my text tool. And you'll notice that Cricut's latest update um, allows you to type directly into the canvas versus having to type into that pop-up text box that was kind of annoying before. And the other neat thing about the update is that the text is now actually together instead of being all spaced apart where you had to go back in and fix the spacing. So that's kind of cool. All right, so I've got my type here. Um, I wanted to point out that I use the font Sweet Boho for this. I absolutely love this font. Um, you can find this font on Design Bundles, but you could also use any font that you want to, any font that you already have installed on your computer, or if you have access to Cricut, um, Cricut Access, you could also use a font from there. Just make sure that you're choosing a font that's well connected like this one. Okay, so now I'm going to shrink this up so that it'll fit really nicely in this little egg. I'm going to turn it just a little bit. Shrink that up, I think, just a little bit more. Okay. And then make sure that you have the text on this side um, overlapping this pink part of the design. And same thing over here, make sure it's um, overlapping a little bit so that when you weld it together, it has something to weld to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text and I'm going to select the design. Double check over here in your layers panel that you've got both of those selected and they are. I'm going to come down here to this weld button. I'm going to hit weld and you're going to notice that right here and right here these things are now connected so now it's one giant piece so when you cut this out it's going to be on one piece the only thing is that if you have a child like I do that has eyes in their name you're going to make sure that when you pull this off of your mat that you grab those little bitty dots and they're kind of a pain to work with but um, just what is what it is so um, once you're finished you can hit make it and I'm going to actually print mine. I'm going to print this piece on a piece of white glitter cardstock, and then I'm going to print this on a piece of pink cardstock. Um, but you can print it on anything, anything you've got lying around. You could also use these cut files in your laser, um, in your laser printer. So if you have a Glowforge, you could cut these out of wood, just like my preview shows, um, or you could just use cardstock. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help. Thanks so much.